today we're gonna go into plank challenge it will be a full body workout we will be doing uh, about eight different types of planks uh, some with both sides we're gonna start with basic plank plank to pike superman plank side planks planks with shoulder taps one of my favorite reverse planks knee to elbow planks and finally plank jacks all right so let's get started immediately we're gonna go into high plank i'm gonna show you how to go into plank safely so first you're gonna play go into all fours position where your wrist is under shoulder knee under hip make sure your hands are shoulder width and your hip and your knees are hip width apart from here, you're gonna stabilize and gonna lengthen one leg out. Okay. Now, once you're here, think about curling your tailbone towards your rib cage and not arching or sinking your back. So this scooping is important. Keep that engagement. Keep your back leg long and straight. You're gonna bring the other leg up, and then we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. When you're done, just drop the knees down. Okay. So you got that. I'm gonna get started now. So curl the tailbone. Extend one leg. Keep your shoulder lifted, so no squeezing of your blades or sinking of your chest. And the other side up, and we go. So inhale through the nose, out from the mouth. It's a stationary movement, but it's a good warm-up for the rest of the plank. Keep your legs long and straight. Think about digging your toes into the mat, curling the tailbone towards your rib cage. Keep your hip, shoulder, ankle, knees in one long diagonal line. I should be gazing slightly forward, so don't look between your hands because that's what's going to happen to your neck. Okay, so always gaze forward. Keep the lift of the chest, so no sinking of the shoulders as well. Keep squeezing your glutes. And we have about 15 seconds more to go. Last three, two, and one. And now slowly drop the knees down there. Now the next one we're going to do is plank to height. So I am going to shift the mat slightly up so that my feet will be on the floor. Okay, so from here, you're going to extend your leg out. What we're going to do is to bring your butt up and then bring the butt down. Okay, so this is a plank, this is a pipe. Okay, so we're just going to move uh, the body up and down for 45 seconds. Alright, so when you're ready, inhale. Extend one leg, exhale, extend the other leg, and we go. But up and down. Lift. Remember to drop the butt down when you return. Up and lift. Last 8 seconds. Last one. And we rest. Okay, now the next one, we're gonna go into Spider-Man plank. So I'll show you how to get into position. So same thing, all fours. Extend one leg, the other leg. You're gonna bring your leg or your knee outwards towards one elbow. Bring it back and then other side. Okay, the challenge here is to keep your ankle stable so you're not moving back and forth as you're moving your knees or your leg. Okay, so when you're ready, one leg out, other leg, and we go. If you can, touch. If not, just think about bringing your knee as high towards your shoulder or your elbow as much as you can. Return hold, there you go again, so no rush. Be working your obliques, flexibility of the hips, stability of the shoulders. Remember to return with legs hip width apart so your legs should not be together. 15 more seconds. Lift the chest, no sinking of the chest, no squeezing of the shoulder blades. 
Last one. And we rest. Okay, let's go into a bit of a stretch. Okay, now for the next one, we're gonna go into side plank. So for side plank, the correct way to get on, I'm gonna go onto my elbow. Okay, your legs are long. Top leg is always in front, back leg is back. Okay, flex the ankle if you can and make sure your elbows are under your shoulder. Front hand here to keep your to push yourself up into a lift. So when you're ready, inhale to stay, exhale lift, and we bring the arms up. We're just gonna stay here for 45 seconds and we'll switch. Okay, the important thing here is to think about lifting the butt up as if someone is pulling your waist up towards the sky. Shoulder draw down, so no sinking of the shoulders. Inhale through the nose, out from the mouth. Your legs working as you push yourself up. Halfway to go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. We're gonna go on to the other side. So I'm gonna come over here. Okay. So top leg forward, back leg back. Elbow under shoulder. This hand you can come into a fist or a palm down. So remember to use your top arm to give yourself a push and always keep both legs straight. Ready? Inhale, stay. And Exhale, we lift. Bring your other arm up and just hold it here. Inhale through the nose, up from the mouth. So always think about drawing your butt up and not sinking off the butt down. Press into the elbow, lift the ribs, lift the shoulders. So no sinking of the shoulder either. Keep your legs long and straight. If you want, you can squeeze your inner thighs and lift the butt up higher. Gonna go for the last five, four, three, two, and we rest. Okay, now the next set, we're gonna go into plank with shoulder tap. So I'll do a quick one. Okay, so come back to your all fours. One leg long, the other leg long. I'm just gonna release one hand and tap. Okay, now um, I'm gonna go into, you can also go into elbow on the mat and we do the same thing okay so I'm gonna if you feel that your wrists are not happy you can go into elbow flex ready lengthen one leg inhale and then the other leg stabilize and we tap okay so try not to rock your body from side to side as you look so this is wrong it isn't wrong okay so stabilize so gentle tap on the shoulder make sure your body stay parallel to the ceiling or the floor as much as you can. Stabilize the hands first before you lift the other arm. Maintain the butt in the same line as your shoulders and your ankles and rest. Okay, so now we're gonna go into reverse plank, okay? Uh, if your shoulders are tight, go as wide as you can to sustain it. Do not injure or tear your shoulders doing this, okay? So you're gonna be sitting upright. The important thing is to make sure your heels are grounded on the floor. So your heel is always, your heels are always in contact with the floor. For me, my hands will be at the edge of the mat, fingers pointing away. So don't point the fingers towards your bum, okay? Should be away. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, even in a rested position, you can go wider or you can go back more. Okay, so find a position where you can sustain 45 seconds, okay? Now, no sinking or a hiking of your shoulder, so this is wrong. You need to make sure it's lifted. Okay, eyes always gaze forward. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna just squeeze the butt and lift. And you're just gonna hold it here for 45 seconds. All right, so inhale to stay, 
and exhale, curl the tailbone, lift. I should be gazing forward, slightly up, so I'm looking at the intersection of the wall and the ceiling, and not here. So this is wrong and this is wrong, okay? So you should be gazing forward. Keep your chest lifted, keep your arms long and straight. Think about curling the tailbone towards your ribs, even though you are in a reverse position. So inhale through the nose, out from the mouth. Gonna go for halfway more to go. Keep your legs long and keep pressing your heels into the uh, floor. Butt is engaged. Squeeze your glutes. Last 10 seconds. Gonna go for five, four, three, two, and last one. And we rest. Okay, now next, we're gonna go into knee to elbow plank. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are going to bring your knee to your elbow, and I'm gonna up the challenge by asking you to bring to both elbows. Okay, so I'll show you. So all fours, lengthen one leg, then the other leg. You're gonna bring the knee to the same elbow, then to the other elbow, and then bring it back. Okay, so same, opposite, return. Rest. Got that? Ready? We lengthen, we lengthen, and we start. Same, other side, release. Same, other side, release. If you can touch, that will be great. Touch. At least the one, the same one you should be able to touch. Okay? And do not move the ankle back and forth, so that's cheating. So keep your ankle stabilized as you shift. Last five. And one more. We rest. Okay, rest. Okay, so we're gonna go into plank jacks. Super cardio. Okay, and I'm gonna do it with elbow down. So it's friendlier to your wrist. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump out and in. That's it. Okay, so ready. Inhale. Call the tailbone, so make sure you're not arching your back. Scoop it in. Lengthen one leg, other leg, and we go. Out and in. Out and in. So try not to go fast. Hold, hold. In and hold, out and hold. Okay? Gentle on the knees, especially if you have knees issue, you're gonna go slow. Keep your legs long and straight. completing the plank challenge. Uh, check out the squat challenge if you have not done it. Uh, I've actually combined the squat challenge and the plank challenge uh, together to bring across a more intensified body slimming or body fat reduction uh, series for you if you are looking at losing weight in a safe manner. Meet me in the next video where I will be sharing with you dynamic stretches uh, to relieve some of the back aches you may have or to make yourself more flexible so i'll see you next time bye